Hey everyone, RJ here with Zenergy Dog Training in Phoenix, Arizona. And the purpose of this video right now is to introduce our marker system. This is basically the communication system that we layer everything else over. Um, this is what we do with every dog when they first come in uh, to learn from us. And we want to create a great relationship with a lot of engagement and a lot of enthusiasm for the work. And this is how to get there. So, this is uh, something that we would like you to continue to do with your dog and uh, a game we want you to keep playing with your dog to enhance your relationship, enhance the engagement and the focus you get from your dog, and basically reinforce the whole communication system that your dog has learned here with us. So I'm going to jump right in and then I'm going to critique afterwards. I'm going to do a couple rounds maybe uh, and then describe what I'm doing afterwards. So watch closely. See if you can notice the details uh, as uh, I'm going to be describing them afterwards. So I'm going to start with recall. So first I'm going to say the command, and then I follow with the body language. Fitzy. Here. Good boy, Fitzy. Okay, so yes means you've done what I've asked, I like what you just did, you've done it, now come get your food reward and you're all done. Good means I like what you're doing, keep doing that and I'll bring the food reward to you. Nope obviously means uh, you haven't figured out what I want yet or stop doing that, that's not what I want you to do and by playing this game with your dog. The note becomes very relevant. The dog uh, really takes it seriously. Um, and with the other markers, yes and good, it enables us to um, really uh, sculpt and um, shape their behaviors. So um, I'm going to now explain how it's done. When I get, let's say, eye contact from my dog, it's he sit. Good. Good. He's holding eye contact. I want to reward that and let him know he's done what I've asked and now he can come get his reward. So I have to say the word Y-E-S and then I use my body language. Nope. Nope. Place. Good. Did you see that? Nope. Place. So he did something I didn't want him to do. I gently and calmly tell him nope and then I repeat the command. Place. He goes to place. I say good. Good means keep doing what you're doing and that's what he's doing there. Good. Keep doing what you're doing, I will bring the reward to you. And from experiments that were done with uh, the scientist uh, Pavlov, with Pavlov's dogs, he discovered that when the dog hears the sound, in his case he used a bell and uh, food, so the sound of the bell would ring and then the food would come. What he discovered was if the sound of the bell happened at the same time the food comes, the dog will never associate the sound with the reward. So we want to make the sound first and then the reward comes. What Pavlov further discovered from his observations in uh, studying the salivatory responses of dogs is that when the bell would ring, the dogs would begin to salivate and the food would come. So the bell would ring, the dogs would salivate and the food would come. He would extend the time from the bell ringing to the food coming and discovered 
that as he did this incrementally, the dogs would continue to salivate for up to 30 minutes from when the bell rang. So what this means for us in training is that we really get a lot of extra time to reward our dog and have that reward be meaningful uh, and for that dog to associate that reward with the activity that we are rewarding. So basically, if, um, if, I, if my dog performs an action that I want to reinforce, I need to get him a reward for that within half a second. And it's almost impossible to be consistent with that kind of timing. Good see, no, place. Good, down. Good see, down. Good boy, good boy. So um, it's really impossible to get that kind of timing. So the markers allow us more time to get the reward. And what it's evolved into is the system that we use now, which allows us to get so many great um, uh, behaviors from our dog and allow our dog to understand when we don't like their behaviors. So we need to make sure we say the marker and then give the physical cue. He's giving me eye contact. I want to tell him that I like this and he's done what I've asked. Bitsy. Yes! Good boy, Bitsy! In terms of body language and the verbal marker, if you use the verbal marker and the body language at the same time, the dog will always associate with the body language. They won't hear the verbal marker. So dogs uh, communicate primarily with their body language, and so when we use body language to communicate with them, that's going to override all the other communication that, uh, that we're using um, in terms of markers. So um, I'll run through it again, and hopefully you'll get the gist of it. So Fitzy, yes! Come back and let him get the reward. So the yes is associated with movement. And this allows us to get more enthusiasm and more drive from the dog. Good is associated with being uh, still or holding a command. So good becomes our continuous marker. Yes becomes our release marker. Yes! Good boy, Fitzy! Fitzy, place! Place! Yes! Good boy, Fitz! All right! Fitzy, place! Good. Good. And I bring his reward. In practice, we're going to want to do things like walk around him. We're going to want to mix it up. I'm going to want to recall him from different places. This is a great way to incorporate your recall while you're doing this yes and good back and forth. Every once in a while, we good him. He sits there and he's waiting because he understands that good means keep doing what you're doing, and so now I can recall him and practice my recall. Fitzy, here's good boy Fitzy. I reel him in, I absorb him in. Fitzy, stay. Good, good, yes. He comes get it. Here's good boy Max, good boy. Yes. Max, place, place. Yes! Good boy, Maxie! Place! Yes! Good boy, Max! Max, place! Yes! Good boy! Place! Good! 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 Here, good boy, Dexter. Good. Dexter. Yes. Place. Place. Yes, good boy, Dexter. Place. Yes, good boy. Place. Good. 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 Dexter. Here! Good boy, Dexter! Yes! 
Nice. Yes. Good boy. Nice. Dexter, place. Yes. Good boy, Dexter. Nice. Good. Good. So that's the gist of the marker system and the relationship building uh, game that we want you to play with the marker system in order to maintain uh, engagement and focus from your dog. I hope this has been helpful and I look forward to practicing this with you uh, personally. Your dog is already going to understand this, but it's really important to watch this and get a feel for it so that when you come to learn directly from us and practice it, that you've got a good handle on it. Alright, thanks for watching.